Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM and a flash review. Tonight, I should say. Everything I do is late night. I do have a regular job. But uh, anyways, we're talking about Dilly's ROM version 5.4 today. This ROM comes in two flavors. Let's go ahead and get it powered up. Uh, and by flavors, I mean themes. Uh, you can get the optional blue, which we have already flashed, or it comes in stock green. Now, this ROM is being categorized as stripped. It has basically the bare necessities out of the box is going to give you super uh, advantage with speed and stability um, there's been a lot of work done to the framework so we can see here we go into a, a nice boot animation with a blue type of theme to it and uh, kind of a coin spinning uh, really cool um, obviously supports boot animation zip and we're already up I mean it's actually really fast we omit the kernel screen uh, and go straight into the boot animation so obviously we have the Android unlock out of the box I don't know if you saw it but there's a lot of cool uh, animations going on here uh, a lot of gingerbread-esque type stuff that we saw in that port um, it looks like a lot of those animations have made its way in here it's a little different than a lot of the animations you'll see on a lot of other ROMs now this is a JPY 2.2.1 ROM so it's an i9000 i9, base uh, check out my new i9000 boot screen video if you're interested in maybe flashing over that uh, AT&T boot screen um, let's go ahead and go into the about phone info and show you about what we're running on this particular one obviously we're running build number 54 stripped uh, this is going to be the Glitter Balls kernel, the latest one running at 1280 megahertz. And then we've got the uh, JK4 modem going on there. And uh, that's going to give us uh, pretty good signals. I've had great network strength. Uh, GPS locks very fast. Had no issues with that at all. So um, another thing to mention is obviously as a JPY, uh, we're sporting the very convenient 4 unlock screen. So it's just a step away to switch into a different unlock oh that's cool I didn't even see that this is actually something different it's uh sorry about that kind of kind of impressed with that it's uh, some kind of different lock screen I thought it was gonna be the typical epic but it's actually a, a bar style uh, vertical unlocker so that's actually really cool um, that was a total surprise to me right there but um really cool stuff there so a, kind of a, another option is a lock screen there obviously sound you still can't tie uh, notification and ring your volume together that's kind of a, a 2.2.1 uh, hold back right now I'm sure someone will hack it but for right now that's kind of a hold back um, another thing to mention is we're sporting Armani fonts throughout so you can see the fonts have a slightly different look to them something really fresh really clean and they're a lot uh, nicer to look at in my opinion um, gingerbread launcher right out of the box uh, themed with AOSP icons throughout uh, and with the gingerbread launcher you get the nice manage apps button right there so it's a quick way to manage your applications versus the old style way of getting around to things uh, working with a hacked camera here obviously just power button takes a picture uh, something really cool that we've been seeing um, obviously the home button still is a uh, an issue with that and it's not this ROM related it's just that hacked camera uh, if you take a picture, you can't use the home button to return home. You just need to use the back button. Not a big deal at all. I mention it in pretty much every ROM, but uh, it's not a big deal by any means. Um, got some really cool icons up top with the blue. Uh, we've got the um, the really cool uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, the battery is really nice. Um, really cool icons here too for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent, and auto rotation. Uh, all with a blue theme, all fresh icons that I haven't actually really seen much of. And we're working with a glass pane with a nice uh, opaque type of see-through window. And, and it's done really well. Uh, sometimes they leave that a little too see-through and it, it almost gets annoying. This is done really well. You can see through it, so it's like you're looking through tinted glass. And it's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, in addition to all this, uh, with the green version, you're going to get a themed uh, keyboard. Uh, when you switch to the blue, you'll get the standard Skype. But with the green theme, you will get the green Skype keyboard that you've seen in a lot of other ROMs. So it'll have that degridded uh, green button type of look and feel. Uh, one thing that's really cool with the blue, and uh, I didn't check the green, but it may be the same. I think the green has a stock market. But the blue has a blue market. So uh, obviously, first boot, give me a second to load the market. But uh, the entire market has been themed blue, just like that. And it's just something different, something really cool. Now, in the past, we've seen ROMs lose that market as soon as they update. So I don't expect to keep it for too long. But maybe go ahead and uh, store that APK somewhere on the phone. And you can always just reflash back to it 
or uh, maybe I'll look up and see if I can get uh, something set up to where we can disable market uh, updating uh, for you guys so that would be nice. Uh, over to the right we've got uh, kind of a, an extended controls based type of power controls widget with a lot of uh, easy to use icons, the same type of stuff that we've seen on a few other ROMs. Um, really cool background out of the box. Everything is very zippy. I'm really impressed with that. All the way down to the browser, the entire functionality of the whole phone is uh, actually really good. So, I mean, everything's really quick, and I'm really impressed with this. Um, definitely a contender uh, if you guys are looking uh, for another ROM. So, uh, that's one of the bad things about doing this job that I do is it really turns me into ROMaholic. Um, I wanted to point out again, a lot of people are asking about battery life in my ROM reviews. Guys, I really just I don't have the time to give you a thorough battery review. I don't feel like one day is accurate enough for me to to state battery uh, statistics on because day to day I use my phone uh, more some days and then some days I don't even use it at all. So some days uh, eight to five I'll, I'll be sitting at forty percent. Some days I'll be sitting at seventy five percent. So I'm really not going to be able to do that. Your best bet is to just read through the developer thread and you'll you'll get to find all that information. Um, so with that being said, uh, we obviously have um, some theming going on as well in the uh, the uh, dialer. Um, this has a kind of a, a blue type of look to it. Uh, the green one has a little more theming going on. There's a lot of themes going on there. And uh, like I said, if we were to type uh, a, a phone number, it, you know, we would get the uh, record option that we've been seeing in a couple of a couple of things. And that was the uh, the Josh is a for awesome number. So. And, actually remembering to dial that particular number. So uh, in addition to everything we've talked about, there's actually an optional ROM package, I mean an uh, application package it's in the form of an update.zip. You can flash with Clockwork Mod and you'll get a ton of other applications. So check out uh, Dilly's uh, third post on the XDA thread in the description below and you can see how you can get all those additional applications if you really want to spruce it up and add some of that stuff out back. Um, his framework, Res, um, on this particular phone is actually about half the size of a typical framework so a lot of theming going on but a lot of minimalistic uh, touches behind the scenes it's really going to give this thing a nice smooth feel so uh, something really cool to see um, as well so uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow you guys to uh, take a look at the thread while I go ahead and get ready for some scores so I'll be back in just a sec okay we are back and ready for some scores let's go ahead and get everything set up here and the only applications we've added on this phone are Linimo, uh, Linpack, Ninamark, and Neocore. Go ahead and get set up for our Linpack. Now I've seen scores really high on this. Obviously with the Glitter Balls kernel, you're going to see pretty high scores. Like that, 17.49. Probably going to be a little higher on this run. 17.6, really impressive stuff there. Go ahead and get ready for our Ninamark. So we'll do a full task killer with level 2. Memory clear. And get ready for the Nenomark. Okay, so 49.4 on that, and we'll get ready for our Neo Core. See if I can do this sideways here. Alright, got it. And the folder with the Neo Core.
55.7, about the score you would expect on something like NeoCore. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is when you plug in USB, you get another cool little icon, something cool to show off here. Uh, if we pull down, you'll see that if we want to do this, we get this cool little Android guy holding the uh, flash drive. And we connect him, and he turns orange, and uh, says connected. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, just something I kind of wanted to show off. I haven't seen that in a lot of other builds. So, uh, we're not going to do a quadrant. I saw about scores of 1700 to 1750. So, not going to do a quadrant. But, uh, yeah, that's Dilly's ROM version 5.4. Go grab it today. Uh, got links in the description for the ROM. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy the constantly updated content. I want to send a personal shout out to um, to anyone that's uh, donated to me. I really do appreciate it. It really helps me out. It uh, helps pay my hosting bills as well. Also wanted to point out that the jigs are selling very well and they're down to $13 now in the uh, the product section of the website. That's at mobiletechvideos.com. So check that out if you're interested in a jig. So um, that's Dilly's ROM 5.4. This has been a ROM in a flash presentation. And uh, if you're ready to flash, good luck.